Hello, people of the interwebs. I am at SEMA. Actually, I'm in a concrete tunnel right now, outside of SEMA. Mission for today, to show some light on the underdogs of SEMA, the cars that are tucked away and hidden that may not get all the camera's attentions. If you kind of hold on to Or something. You can just like hang from here. You could be a little spider. <laughs> We're gonna head inside SEMA and uh, I'm gonna start trying to find some cars that are tucked away and hidden in corners. Like a Liz. Hi. <laughs> so this area over here is on the side of the Westgate Hotel and not a, pe a lot of people come out here because it's not, it's kind of like hidden if you don't really know SEMA. So there's some cool cars out here that might get missed. So I'm gonna take a look at them. This line of cars goes all the way down this little alleyway on the side of the convention center between the Westgate Hotel. And there's all kinds of different genres of cars over here. There's muscle cars, there's Japanese cars, there's a modified Tesla, there's everything over here. This right here, LS swapped Volvo, I think it's a 242, because it's a coupe. That is so clean underneath the hood. Look at the custom fabricated sway bar, how it fits over the top of the engine. It's like everything under the hood is mint and it's all shaved underneath here. But then if you look at the outside body of the car, you can tell the car gets driven, like it's a track focused vehicle. That is so sick. I love the old school carpeting and shift knob, the rubber shift boot. If that doesn't just scream diversity, I don't know what does. That is so awesome. You don't ever see these anymore. Look, it's a wild stingray spotted in the bushes. That was really corny, I'm sorry. I brake late on this little NC Generation Miata. It's cute. Sarah's looking into the bus. <laughs> so dope. They're like hospital cot things. It's gonna be really hard to capture cars here that no one else has captured on video or footage because there's just so many people here, but I'm gonna do my best to pick up hair in my mouth and chew on it because I'm weird. I think you guys get what I'm trying to say. Mr. Dom, is this your RX-7 here? I want to say hello and congratulations. So this is the 1948 Ford Dr. Pepper delivery truck. This thing is really cool. Liz, are you full of vim and vigor? <laughs> That's pretty dope. <laughs> now we're, it's nice. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> we're walking around outside and we found the FCP Euro booth, but they're playing with these giant foam cube things. <laughs> we just had some lunch inside and from sitting down, neither of us can move anything from the knees down right now. Just from yesterday afternoon when I arrived, we walked over 11 miles. My feet feel like they've been in lava. It's kind of hard because I know a lot of the stuff's going to be in other people's videos, but I'm doing my best to capture different stuff for everybody that's watching right now. That Mercedes R-Class had a C63 AMG swap in it. That is so cool. It's like, it's not really a minivan, it's like a wagon-ish. I don't even know what the R-Class is. It's not really a crossover, it's not really a minivan. It's just, it's cool, especially the AMG spot. Here we have a young Sarah walking, walking on this little red thing. Are your feet really hurt? It's okay. <laughs> I feel so hopeless looking at this thing because my Sir Codsworth could never be as amazing as this. Look, there's holes drilled out in the mirrors to reduce weight. Everywhere else in the world, this is known as a Land Cruiser Prado, but in the States, it's a Lexus, and I've never seen one done off-road style. It's kind of cool. I don't know how you're supposed to see with Federal written across your windshield, but still cool. That is so cute. Little caddy pickup truck. I like it. Look how tiny the radiator is, just off to the side. Oh my god, look at the size of that turbo. I know I have a lot of you that watch my channel that are really big into overlanding because I see it in the comment section all the time. And we just stumbled into this area that I didn't even see last time. Last year I was at SEMA. It's an overlanding experience area and I like it because the carpets are nice and soft and padded and it feels good to walk on them. Hi. I'm so tired. I'm not like even listening to anything. Sarah. 
Hello, I'm yellow. I'm orange. Hello, it is your friendly orange Sarah here coming to you from our hotel room. I'm straight orange right now. I look like a Simpsons character. We're about to go go-karting. We just stopped back at our hotel room to I changed my, so my socks because my socks were full of blood. That is my sock that I was wearing today. It's soaked in blood. And um, I'm bringing my camera. Just doing camera things. Day number 2.5. So continuation, we're gonna look at the South Hall right now. I'm gonna try to find some more cool vehicles for you guys to check out. And Liz is gonna do shapes. This Jeep looks like a toy these big white wheels. I love the retro 80s style graphics. Well, I guess I couldn't ever drive this thing because I do lots of that. That is so great. Look at that spare tire. A spare tire looks like a toy. I'd be afraid of curbing one of these off-road though. So I take it back. I said this was a Jeep and I just looked inside. It's a Mahindra. It's an Indian vehicle. Is that copyright if it's a Mahindra but it looks like a Jeep? I don't understand how that works legally. Yeah, it definitely does look like a Jeep. I got confused myself. Yeah. I really like it though, either way. I love the wheels on it. And the paint scheme. I just love that 80s style paint scheme on anything. I have never seen a Lamborghini Urus in person. This is the first time I've ever seen one before. I don't get out much and I don't know many rich folk. So, this is pretty cool. Look at the bed of this Jeep. That is so cool. This whole entire Jeep is all aluminum. Like even the cab of the Jeep is aluminum. Check this out. It feels like real aluminum. Look at the interior. It's got like this kind of olive green in there. That's nice. That's pretty neat. The whole entire car is made it's of carbon. aluminum and the whole front of it has carbon fiber. Jeep M715. Yeah, it's got a Hell Crate. Hell Crate engine. Just in case you were wondering about the underneath. Here's a pumpkin for you. Ran to a real power wagon. Real deal. I like to see a diesel in there, but still, this is really cool. Are we gonna beat him or is he gonna beat us? I wonder what kind of engine is in this Audi 4000, if it's a five cylinder or not. I can't read what that says. Five plus five? Maybe it is a five cylinder. Oh, I love that. I want one now. I gotta stop with old Audis. It's front wheel drive, it's not Quattro, but it does have a five cylinder in it but it's not turbo. But either way, it's so sick. I don't think I've ever seen a 4000 in person. I love these old school turbo fan style rotiforms are on here. So nice. I don't care if someone's already filmed these or not. I found some Fiat's and I'm a sucker for Fiat's. It's a 124 and a 500. It's a wide body 500. This is very nice, Sarah. How do you it's like caged. it? caged. I mean, oh, there's a whole cage in here. Good luck sitting in the back seat. <laughs> what do you think about it? I love 500s. I love any Fiat. I just, they're so cute. <laughs> I want to see the 124 next to us next. So I just asked them, the company 300, they're the ones that made this wide body kit for the car. I did all the work on it, I guess, so. That's really cool. Oh, it's carbon. That's cool. I like that they painted it, but they left that exposed right there. It's so pissed off looking. Cute and angry. The 595 Competizione. That's a special edition on its own, I believe. I don't think we got it in America. I love the classic five spoke style wheel. I think it's, it is a three piece. God, these cars look so good in yellow. I like how the lip is kind of like a pearl satin silver. Coloration, color schemes are really nice on it. What? It's right hand drive. That's cool. Uh, this is not a Tacoma. Nope. It is a Hilux. It's a Hilux. So that means it's probably a D4D diesel, I'm hoping. Oops, sorry. Uh, I can't see the tailgate. It doesn't say. I like the Hilux. It's different. I wish the Hilux and Tacoma were the same truck worldwide. Cars, cars, cars. We're navigating from South Upper Hall down to Central Hall right now. I almost bought these Momos for the MR2. I kind of I wish times I wish I did. They're forged and they're custom made for your vehicle. But Sarah, why do you have no Supras in your vlog? 
because this is Supra number 7,980 at SEMA. I do like them though. It's really hard to capture content inside because there's so many people in there and I don't want to just shove a camera in someone's face. But I hope I've been doing a good enough job for you guys on capturing random weird cars. It's a Chrysler Crossfire that has been turned into a Baja car. That's pretty cool. Look at the color of the wheels on this Hyundai. Cream. I like cream wheels. My phone's ringing. It's Tavares' Lamborghini. Watch your, watch your head. Yep, yep, there you go. I've never sat in an exotic car before. It's the first time. It's like a little touch pad to, for a pad for you to touch. So that's the button that uh, does nothing. This would uh, be reverse. Well, these look like they're out of an Audi. They uh, probably are. It's really comfy once you're in here, though. The seat belts have orange on the very edges. See how small the back glass on this thing? This is so tiny. It's like two inches. How do you like it? Do you guys know Rich Rebuilds? Yeah. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice Meg, how, well. are you? how are you? You met him in Boston. I uh, have a, yes. Hi. I love you, Sarah and June. Yes. How are you? Hi. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. That's good. So what's going on? Should they take in your car for the day yeah. or what? Here's how you raise and lower the nose. There's a button for the doors that I don't want to press because it's expensive. I just got done doing a podcast with Tavares and Liz and Rob Ferretti. It was really cool getting to meet those guys finally because I've been watching their channels for years now. So yeah, and it's now dark out and we're just leaving the venue, but I wanted to stop real quick and show you this. The last unique car I ran into uh, is partially missing, mostly missing. It's a Chevy Lumina, kind of. It's a front of a Chevy Lumina, but you don't see those on the road much anymore. Unique. We're sitting on the side of a random boulevard right now because there's no Uber lifts available anywhere near us in a, like within an hour probably. Who knows by the time we actually get a ride. So we're just gonna sit here on the side of the road. <sighs> it's harder than it looks. That's what he said. <laughs> That's it. This is the end. Bye guys. It's the end of SEMA. Goodbye. 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 It's the final goodbye. Do 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 do. I have to shower and pack and I get on a plane in four hours. By the time I'm done. Ah! Oh <laughs> I thought you cut in half. <laughs> My guy, <laughs> I'm done.